Gentlemen, the action continues here at Submission Kings. Winner takes all six. Let's join our commentary team now, Aiden Griffith and Big Al Bishop to introduce our next fight. Aiden, this one's uh, going to be a little bit personal to you. This is the matchup you were supposed to be involved in. This is, this is. I'm excited to see these two big boys throw down. Yeah, we've got uh, boys well over 100 kilos here. Brandon Nordia was talking about 99 kilos, came in at 111. No. <laughs> and Warren Ellison tipped the scales at 107 kilos. Uh, it's brown belt on brown belt action here. Two guys have been here for a long time. I'm super excited. Hopefully, uh, they can stay on the mat. These are massive gentlemen. Let's take it away, CS. Ladies and gentlemen, heavyweight action awaits next with two jiu-jitsu stalwarts in South Africa. In the red corner, he represents jiu-jitsu in Bloemfontein and his academy, Grizzly Bear Jiu-Jitsu Academy. Please welcome Warren Allison. His opponent, a citizen of the East Rand, representing East Rand BJJ from the blue corner. Please welcome Brandon Bad News Nordia. Your referee, Sturge Athanasio. You, you you had a good look at the size of these boys in the heavyweight division. Not as small as they said they would be. No, 111 <laughs> kilos and 107. That is crazy. But this should be fun. Yeah. I'd like I mean, to see what these boys do here. We, we got to see a little bit of Warren in, in a comp at the end of the year last year. Um, he showed some really, really high skill level. Gives up that half guard position immediately. I think it's safer for everybody that there's no double legs involved with these two gentlemen. No. I was kind of hoping. I was hoping we'd <laughs> yeah. see some. I was hoping we'd see some action there, but it, that's fine. Warren opting to give up the chest to chest, but regarding here. So like for those of you that don't know, Warren Ellison obviously had a long history of MMA. Fought in the EFC, was a title contender. Um, he's been doing jujitsu a hell of a long time. He's out there in Bloemfontein now, trying to represent his academy, and um, just a hell of a nice guy. Really, really good high-level jujitsu. Um, Brandon Odier has also been around a hell of a long time. He would uh, hate me if I never told you about the gold medal I have over him. He still is desperate to get that one back. Never, it'll never happen, but uh, just so you know, Mr. Nordia. But yeah, interesting position here. Ed Griffith, what, what can you tell us about Warren Allison's shoulder lock position? Warren trying to implement a shoulder crunch sweep here. There we go. Butterfly hook is in. Now he can maybe start to threaten that. Keep that butterfly hook. He's got to try elevate and use that shoulder crunch to tip Brandon off to his right side. Brandon doing a good job keeping his base. Nice gentleman's agreement to turn so they don't go off the mat there. <laughs> Thank goodness. What I can see from Brandon Odea's expression is that that shoulder crunch was very uncomfortable. Let's see here. Nice, I like that. Now I can start to look, tip him over. Warren, Warren playing very well with his butterfly hooks. I'm very yeah. impressed. Actually, he has a really, really good leg lock game. Um, we got to see quite a bit of it at Sub Kings recently. Um, also, two guys who, who believe that they can make the light heavyweight eight man. I think it's they're going to need to uh, spend a bit of time on, on the, the treadmill. 100% <laughs> coming down. No disrespect to Brandon, but 111 kilos. That is a that is massive, <laughs> and that's impressive. Not saying massive, but in a bad mean that that's impressive. I'd like to see him use that weight down now. Yeah, though. and and Warren's being very smart. He's he's going back to 
Back to double under hooks, back to that shoulder crunch, trying to find that gap. Threatening a triangle there, maybe. Brandon Wise to it. Back to that. Oh, thought about it. Thought now about playing a little second. overhook on the left side. I'd like to see some C cupping in the armpits from Brandon here. Maybe trying to stand up, break the guard. Warren fishing for a leg though, maybe looking for maybe a K guard entry. Keep control of that arm. Nice. Tempted a sweep there. Okay, just over five minutes left to go for these two heavyweights. Uh, cool, calm and collected from Warren Ellison in the bottom position right now. Kind of almost seems like he's putting the onus on Brandon O'Dea, like, you know, you've got to pass here, you've got to do something. Um, let's see what you got. No, for sure. Um, Brandon needs to, try, needs to try stand up now, but the threat is there. Warren is threatening that shoulder crunch sweep, so Brandon is wise to it. So it's kind of a bit of a stalemate at the moment. Oh, an Ezekiel attempt coming from <laughs> bad news here. <yeah? laughs> it's ambitious. I mean, if it works, it works. It yeah. works, it works, boy. It works, it works. Maybe trying to create some hand movement there, trying to get the hands off of his neck, maybe trying to posture up. Not too sure what the thinking was behind, but it, if it works, it works. Tr going for a higher guard, maybe going for almost like a shoulder pinch. Not too sure. Hooking the leg. Maybe another sweep attempt. I'm not too sure. What, there we go. Another sweep attempt for sure. Yeah. And a nice wide base, so it's going to be difficult to sweep him from there. Oh, a little top lock attempt there from Warren Ellison. It's, it's oh. going to be, there we go. Guards open now. I'd like to see Brandon take a chest to chest. He's got the staple in. I'd like to see him punch in a nice tight cross face. Start looking for an underhook. Okay, resetting to center. Good yep. idea. Just as Brandon had a look up, I'm going to try to see what his corner was saying. Back to the half guard position, and now Brandon Odea can really start to get something off here. Really get that nice deep cross face, start to make him comfortable. Interesting, he's gone. They've given him top head and arm. <laughs> I'd like to see how he uses this now. Yeah, he's got to start to work. It's a to very, work very powerful position. He's really got to start to work that cross face a little bit. He's giving a uh, loose, un yeah. loose and underhook as well, giving him the underhook. No cross face at all. I'd like to see what kind of passing attempt he does from here. It's going to be difficult to pass. Brandon Odia's corner obviously calling back for that cross face just on three minutes to go now. I'd like to see Warren maybe trying to look to wrestle up here or look for an underhook on the near leg. He is looking for it. Yep. Maybe if he can pass Brandon over his body and start to look for a leg entry. Got to pass 111 kilos with that, uh, that <sighs> left hand there. <laughs> where, there's a, where there's a will, there's a way, boy. Where there's a will, there's a way. None of these guys really, like, trying to ramp up the pace here a little bit, trying to look for, for that moment, you know? Uh, both staying very cool, very calm. Nobody trying to, like, accelerate too much here. No. And I think there's a chance for Ron Allison to catch Ben and Louis sleeping a little bit there. I think so. Out. Yeah, I think he missed that window. Let's see here. I like this cross face now from Brandon. Yeah. This is what we want to see. This is oh, what we want to see. Better from Brandon. Yeah. Putting that weight through that shoulder into what into Warren's face into the mat. He's given up that underhook there though. Right? He can still try to pull it off. Warren's got a nice scorpion though on that leg, keeping that leg extended so he can't walk his knees to the opposite side. Brandon's got to deal with that first before he can start to look to pass. Back onto that Ezekiel again. The old double threat. Maybe trying to get those legs to open up. This is oh, it's a bit yeah. effective. Got a reaction. Okay, he's got that underhook again. Underhook cross face. I like that gable. I like that wedge underneath Warren. Ops to let it go and focus more on the shoulder. He's trying to work to the mount position there, I think, Aids. Let's see. Yep. Warren regards nicely. Just under a minute 20 here left. I wonder if these boys are playing for overtime back right position I'd like to see how they do remaining in this chest to chest position here Brandon not able to make any use of it Warren keeping him nice and stable <laughs> bad news having a good solid look at the clock <laughs> back up to that Ezekiel attempt again he's, he's, he's trying to 
get that on a few times. I don't know if he's actually trying to get the submission or he's trying to get a reaction from, from, from Warren, Warren Allison. Turns back to have a little look at where Warren's legs are. I'd like to see Warren maybe punching a knee shield, keep him away from that chest to chest. Cross face, but with no underhook. I'd like to see him maybe base out with that left hand, keep his base nice and wide. Warren opting again for double unders. Yeah, that's interesting. Ed, I think uh, I think referee Sturge had uh, definitely had some grounds to issue these guys with a warning to get I moving. I think so. Here. I think so too. But it's here we are. Lo and behold, we're going to see overtime between the two heavyweights. They're going to have two minutes apiece here to to try and decide this match. Um, as we head into the last ten seconds here. Let's see here. One more Ezekiel One attempt. One more attempt. Just give it a try. Warren holding out. Warren knows. Very nicely done. Now let's see what these boys are up to do. All right. Two minutes apiece to decide their fates between these two gentlemen. What have you made of uh, what could have been opponents here? I'll keep that to myself. I'll <laughs> keep that to myself. Granted, these big boys, they put on a show. They did as best they could. They kept each other still, which in itself is a, ma a mammoth task. Keeping 111 kilos still and on you is impressive. So no discredit to these boys. They did well. As you can see, they're sweating. They were working. <laughs> big so, uh, deep breath from big Brandon Odia. Nice uh, in his sporting his Craig Jones leopard skin shorts short shorts i think we'll have to call them very interesting All choice right. of attire i think i think ben and Lottier chose to defend first there interesting he, brandon's act brandon's got good back defense um i will grudgingly admit the first time i fought brandon he beat me by back escape so by right time escape so i know he has good um back escape but i'd, I'd like to see him implement that now Interesting, Warren can actually slip that choking hand straight across there. And there he goes. Now he's going. Over the face. Oh, it's going to get very uncomfortable very quickly for Brandon Odia. I'd like to see Warren punch oh. in behind, punch that secondary that hand is underneath. super though. uncomfortable. Oh. See, I don't like yeah. Warren's secondary yeah, hand he on top to of Brandon's there. head. Yeah. Nicely done there by Brandon Odia. Cool, calm and collected. Let's see it again. Maybe punching that mandible behind the head. No. Brandon Wise to it. Wrist to uh, palm to palm choke here. Oh. One minute 11 was left on the clock there. Let's see what bad news can do here. 49 seconds to beat for Brandon Odea. He's got to hold on for 49 seconds. Warren Allison, 49 seconds to escape to take this one. Yeah, that little adjustment on the rear naked choke is what opened up the gap for, for Brandon the, Odea to Brandon get out to there. slip his hips out. Time is on. Let's see here. Let's see what he can do. Brandon opting just to hold and squeeze, which is a good, good strategy. He's strong enough to do it. Warren already has a good hip position, though. Yeah. I'd like to see him to continue to push those hips out. Brandon keeping a super tight seatbelt though. Yeah. Keeping him locked. And Warren up. Allison trying to find ways up. He's kind of like trying to fight grips. He's really got to start getting some movement. No. no, Warren, no, no, not, no. Warren yeah. not creating enough movement yeah. here. Yeah. Everyone a bit confused on the clock there. Yeah. The clock upstairs, unfortunately, caused a bit of confusion, but uh, Bobby Karajanidis is, is on the case. <laughs> bit of confusion downstairs at the desk there. Let's see what they figure out here. Yeah. Yeah, unfortunately, the, the, the crowd was watching the clock on the TV, which wasn't rolling correctly. And they've now <laughs> got into a position where there was still a bit of time left on the clock. This is interesting now. Do they give Warren another shot? I think they're going to come and ask me is what they're going to do. <laughs> I think so, boy.
didn't uh, tell anybody to stop. Uh, so, yeah, my call on there was, I don't think he was getting out in the second, so we're going to have to, unfortunately, just fix that mistake. Uh, Brandon Deer was obviously in the ascendancy and the control there. Bit of a bit of a glitch in this glitch in the matrix we'll call that one of course of course not the way you <laughs> want to win it but still it's all good i think uh ben and is coming to call me archer it's not <laughs> happening bro it's not happening <laughs> let's see let's see you coming to call me out or aiden huh? are you calling me out or aiden that you're coming over here yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we finished with submissions here buddy <laughs> nice oh gotta be careful what you wish for you boy you can't come up to the table and call you hey, out like that. The table's man. serious. We table's serious, boy. We take names here, <laughs>